Hi there, Serial Trader here. I want to check in on CGC, Canopy Growth Corporation. And it's been a long wait, uh, but I've been waiting for this wave C of two to uh, complete so that we can begin the large degree wave three to the upside. And, you know, it's been frustrating having to sit through this, but uh, I think we're on to something finally. And let me go over it. So I'll just, we'll start with the big picture here on the weekly chart. So from inception on uh, canopy growth, we have our wave one up, two down, three up, four down, five up for that larger one up. So that's the first large degree impulse wave up from inception. We've had this three wave decline, okay, uh, for this large degree wave two. And that took the form of a flat, so an A, B, C, so a three, three, five flat pattern. And you can see we got into the previous uh, fourth wave of one lesser degrees range, quite a typical uh, wave two retracement target, uh, or I should say just a, a typical corrective retracement target of any previous impulsive structures to get into that previous fourth wave range. So we did that. And we also did a very nice relationship here between A and C. So the length of wave A projected off the length of wave B. So equality came in at 1875. And we basically just nicked that, slightly exceeded it, went down to, let's see here, uh, 1789. And then we've uh, had a reversal off that area. So I definitely like the idea that a hard low is in place at this point. And let's examine why I'm starting to have a higher confidence view of that. So this is the weekly chart, but let's go in here on the daily chart. So first we'll examine this wave C of two uh, on the daily here. So what I've drawn here is called an Elliott final channel. And uh, let me just subdivide uh, wave, wave C of two here into its five wave structure. Uh, so we got our one down, two up, uh, three, four, and then our wave five, five of C. And so let me make sure that degree is suitable. Yeah, so minor should be below intermediate. If I'm calling that intermediate degree wave C. Okay. So that works for me. All right, anyway, we have this one, two, three, four, five down for C. So five waves down for wave C. That's, that's how you finish off a three, three, five flat structure. And what you do with an Elliott final channel is you connect the termination point of wave two with the termination point of wave four in parallel off the termination point of wave three. And this gives you an Elliott final channel. And you can either basically get a, a center line reversal or a median line reversal uh, for your wave five. Basically wave five will terminate at that point and then reverse up, start your new impulse wave. Or you can get down to the uh, bottom uh, line on that parallel channel and reverse from there. But it looks like we're not going to do that. It looks like we've had more of a center line or median line reversal. And what I do like here is if you look, so this, this line has contained price action uh, for quite some time here. We're now starting to poke above that line as of Friday's price action. So we've actually started breaking this significant trend line of this Elliott final channel. I like that. And also if I get in closer here, um, well, actually I'll, I'll even go to the four hour chart, I think, to examine this. And on the four hour chart, uh, there's some things I'll point out. Um, let's see here. Uh, okay. So we'll just take a shot here at labeling this. And yeah, let's go with that. It's not the prettiest impulse wave, but they aren't already, they aren't always just a perfect, you know, pretty impulse wave. There's a, sometimes going to be some ambiguity, uh, but let's call that five up for one. And then we've had our A, B, C down for two, right? And now potentially starting a smaller degree, uh, or I should say a minor degree wave three up. And what do I like that I'm seeing here? Well, we're, let's, uh, so obviously we're getting above that Elliott final channel trend line. We got big volume coming in here. And uh, what do you often see 
after you have a significant bottom, what do you often see? You initially see a move up, a deep retracement, but still holds the lows. And then you start to finally see that explosive move uh, at the beginning of a, of a new trending trending move, right? So we got a nice deep 786, almost perfect 786 retracement. So I had 5.9 out. So one up, ABC down for two, nice deep 786 retracement, big volume coming off of there. Uh, if you see the angle, so another thing is slope analysis. So our wave one, uh, that's the angle of wave one. And you can see so far, uh, we're heading for a much sharper angle in a wave three. Obviously, uh, this will change as we develop wave three, but uh, certainly off to an explosive start. So as far as slope analysis goes, looks like third wave price action. Obviously, some confirmation will be nice uh, as this is just the beginning of it. We we'll certainly have to take out the... Uh, 2245 high there and just in a again a typical modest projection for a wave three versus one relationship so 1618 would get us up to 2625 so that might be kind of a shorter term area to look for to the upside uh, but it could certainly exceed that if we're really beginning an explosion here okay so back to the daily chart now that I kind of pointed out what I wanted to show there um Again, this volume stands out to me and also candlestick analysis. So we have a massive bullish engulfing candlestick here, higher volume than we've seen in quite some time, uh, particularly that it's bullish volume. And how many previous candles do we engulf? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we've, we've engulfed prior, eight prior candles, real bodies, very strong volume. Uh, closed, you know, towards the higher end of the day's range. That, that's a very strong buy signal, candlestick buy signal, bullish engulfing. Along with the overall Elliott wave picture, sorry, Elliott wave picture here, the fact that we're starting to break out of this Elliott wave final channel, um, that's, that's all very promising looking. And obviously this coming week, we're going to want to see some follow through and certainly break above the uh, recent high at 2248. I will mention Earnings is coming up here. I believe it's pre-market on November 14th. Uh, the last uh, couple or several earnings reports haven't had the greatest reactions to them. But again, uh, that will not always be the case. So perhaps this will be the first, now that we've had a you know sign that the technicals are turning, perhaps this will now be also confirmed by uh, a more positive reaction to the upcoming earnings report. So certainly all eyes are on CGC pre-market on Thursday. But I really like what I'm seeing here as far as the chart goes. Ideally, uh, we'll get some cooperation here from the earnings report, or I should say at least from the interpretation or reaction to the earnings report. That's all that really matters. And we could off, we could be finally off to uh, you know a, a new uptrending move here. A little too early to call it with uh, supreme confidence, uh, but I definitely like the case for it here. Certainly that weekly chart, very exciting, that wave one up, two down. And again, let's just do some projections there for a longer term move, obviously. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so a one six one eight relationship, which again would just be the modest uh, one versus three relationship. Uh, that gets us up to, sorry there, I'll just gotta adjust the scaling. That would get us to 112.13 uh, from current levels in the low 20s. Um, you know, so you're looking at a, a 5x or better uh, from current levels just to reach a uh, relatively modest 1618 relationship, three versus one. And okay, so how about the timing? Of all that that's the price kind of forecast or target well what about the timing okay well this uh, you know this initial move up uh, let's see here we're gonna say it took roughly a couple years to do our first impulse wave up our large degree one um, if we're just kind of counting this from when it was actually a liquid stock and not just this little penny stock action before it really uh, became something 
And this this uh, wave two correction. So let's see, we started that started that in October of 2018, and we appear to have finished it tentatively in October of 2019. So roughly a couple years up, one year down. So if the next couple years are up, um, you know you could be looking at that kind of price appreciation. If this all plays out according to the, uh, the plan here, um, you know, within the next one to two years, I would say, since a wave three typically moves faster and stronger uh, than, than a wave one, for instance, wave three is meant to move the largest distance in the shortest period of time. That's like a characteristic of an idealized wave three. So two years to be conservative, but uh, I'd say more realistically between one to two years, uh, you can see this thing make some substantial substantial price progress but it's just it possibly just started very recently okay so some patience will be needed for this to work out it's gonna it's gonna go in stages you're gonna have to get an initial five waves up off the bottom wherever that terminates and then you're going to need uh you know corrections along the way right that sort of thing uh and that'll be, you know, for that initial one up, two down of that larger degree. Let's say uh, if we're working a minor degree one up, uh, sorry, intermediate one up, intermediate two down, uh, three up, four down, five up, and so on. Okay, this is just going to have to play out over a number of obviously multiple months. But again, Looks like we may finally be on to something here as far as an actual hard pivot, uh, a major low in place, and potentially the beginning of a new trend of the upside. But it's, good. it's still going to take some patience and time to play out. And again, uh, all eyes are on the earnings report on Thursday. Hopefully it's okay. We'll have to see how that goes. But uh, I think certainly that'll, that'll lead to some confirmation here of the technicals. If we do get a reasonable reaction to the earnings report, uh, on Thursday there, and we can continue trending up after that. I think it's pretty much uh, green lighted that we have a uh, finally a new trend to the upside underway. All right, hopefully that's a helpful update here on CGC. Uh, Serial Trader signing off.